Hey guys, welcome to another uh, technique of the week. Today is going to be a theme lesson. Uh, we have not done that in a while. We've done a bunch of courses, uh, just not that. And today I would like to go over stretch and submission. There is a lot of misconceptions. People call uh, banana split a spladle and vice versa. Sometimes the word electric chair thrown in the mix. So I'd like to uh, cover all that stuff, all right? Not a multitude of uh, entries, uh, pretty much like basic execution, power sources, uh, and uh, the differences or whatnot. Uh, I'm not going to be focusing on a lot of on entries. So, we will start with a banana split, okay guys? Banana split could be done uh, 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 like a submission, like in sambo, a submission grappling, right? Typical sambo move. And it could be done also as a pinning device in uh, pinning mechanism, pinning technique in, uh, in the breast, okay? So, what we're looking for, we're looking at our partner to be uh, like this on her force, all right? Step on the product, all right? Money, that's the issue. Jokes. Sorry guys, jokes. So what I want to do if I'm looking in the same direction, I want to insert, I want to lace this leg right here, okay? And uh, many ways to get, many ways to get here. And once I insert the leg, I want to have my belly uh, on top of her lower back, just like this, all right? Cross body right, well, or leg right. Got my mistake, all right guys? And uh, I got caught like this, so, okay? Learn from my mistakes, and if you make any mistakes, make your own here. Uh, one time I remember I arm dragged somebody from uh, Calf slicer went here uh, for the for the uh, calf slicer, and uh, my partner was able to spin behind me. Yes, and actually choked me out. All right. So do not let your partner uh, bail like this. Okay. If my body was on top of my calf, she would never do that. Also, it's usually advisable to collect that second leg. All right. Because once I collect the second leg, she'll never be able to do so. Okay. Basic execution. Once I both, uh, caught both ankles and I cross body right and leg right, I will put this foot down and I will pretend to jump in the pool. I'm going to push with this leg like this. Oh, and we're here. Position, I'll grab both ankles and I jump like, like I'm jumping backwards in the pool, pushing with this leg. And as, as soon as we roll, I'm going to uh, secure this position like a lockdown. I don't have to do it. I like to control, right? I will pull the leg over here just like that, right? So it's in front of me. And I collect my gable grip or S grip. At this point, I will remove my leg and put it right here like I'm throwing a kick, okay? And now as I pull, I stomp the foot down to facilitate the stretch. Okay, guys, and that's banana split, okay? Uh, sometimes I just stretch the leg out, I can get it over here, and now I'm stretching this way, okay, guys? You see, it's like a scissor. One leg goes this way, and another leg goes like such. And that's what they call crotch ripple could be the same setup, right? Big difference, they look identical, they look similar, especially to untrained eye, but they both different submissions. All right, so banana split and uh, uh, crotch ripper, as per nomenclature of that kind of producer. Now, splayo. So let's say Monica grabbed my single leg. She came up, she was able to grab a single leg, okay? Now, so normally, guys, right, I would lace this leg for banana split. But now other leg is going to be laced, and that's the entirely uh, that's what makes it so different. Uh, I want to stop my partner down, and I want to secure that leg. And watch, guys, when I fall down, I don't fall here. She can come up, right? I want to fall on her neck that way. That way, she will never uh, come uh, straight up. And what I'm doing is I'm hopping. I'll, I'll do it nice and easy. Mine is like digit here. This arm is going to be reaching on the inside, knuckles in like this, like this, right? And I'm going to be throwing my partner over. All right, guys, and pretty much this is it. All right, that's a splayer. Uh Make sure that her head and shoulder blades rest on my body. Okay, very much uh, uh, like uh, I want her to rest on me when I'm doing banana split. Okay, because if the head is here, I'll lose the position. Okay, guys. The only thing with a splayer though, uh, it's a good pin, good control, but it's really not a finish, especially with people who are even moderately flexible. I can increase that a little bit by swinging from the inside and going like this and using my second leg like such. But Monica is not flinching, she's uh, at best pinned. So uh, in wrestling it's good, but for the finish not so good. All right, you have to have uh, some kind of game to finish, to finish the position, walking up on top. And what I meant guys, sorry about that, when we're doing our banana split or crotch river, you see how her body rests on me. If she was able of doing, of going like this, now I, I don't have the submission. She'll find out this. 
Okay, guys, and that's basically the difference between so far crotch ripper, banana split, and uh, this split. Okay, we have another move called Rastashka. Actually, we call banana split Rastashka too, which means like a stretcher. Yeah, very sound style. And this one, if the guy does not tap, he can pass guard. So, this one actually flows very well in the framework of uh, Jiu Jitsu and submission grappling. Money is on my back. All right, guys, and what I initiate from open guard, I'm scooping one leg, not on my shoulder, not uh, rather not in my uh, crook of my bicep, but on my shoulder as I'm pinning this leg, stepping over and dropping my knee. I guess knee down, because if my knee is Spanish, I can repound back to safety, just like such. And what I will do, I will collect head and arm. With this arm, I'll go for underhook, and with this, head control. And now what I do, I go long and bow, right? I go long and bow, and my leg slides, and there we go, she tap on that one. Okay, guys, this is the action. Two movements in black. I'm coming down, bowing and going long, as my left leg stretches out. If somehow she's flexible, I step, and we'll pass uh, we'll five to seven. All right, guys, that's another great stretching submission. Now, uh, electric chair. <clears throat> On an electric chair, you're playing half guard with the lockdown. And lockdown simply means uh, this leg, uh, outside leg comes in first, the inside goes over and under, just like such. All right? Uh, obviously, we need to have underhook. So whenever I'm ready, I will clear this arm right in this armpit, okay? And this arm goes under, and I'm steering Monica away until we create a perpendicular position this way. Uh, it's very important to secure this position, otherwise her defense is going to be to hold on to my head. Yes, that way I'll never achieve this position. That's why I swing clear and coming up over here. All right, guys. So I have a lockdown intact, and I want to collect my hands. Usually, either S grip or gable grip with this thumb down. Not like such, like such. Okay, guys, and now what I do, uh, I do again two opposable movements. With my lock, I kind of twist, trying to drop my right elbow to the ground, and with my lock down, I extend. If I just do one, unpleasant, right? Or the other, unpleasant. But if I do them together, that's when that happens. You have common troubleshooting, guys. Uh, either somebody being flexible or you on your shoulder. Because once I'm on my shoulder, uh, what happens here, uh, I have no range of motion to twist her up, only to extend. That's why I feel base and go like this. And guys, know anytime you have submissions when you lace some legs, they are height reliant. And what I mean by that simply that uh, the longer I am, the better my uh, levers are. Okay? So uh, it's going to be more effective. So if I do it to Monica versus Monica doing it to me because she's short. Okay? So, like I said, some people are super flexible, they do not tap. Make sure you, all have, you, you always have a, a route to, uh, to abandon the position and go elsewhere. Okay? Next one is called Adi Gatami. Another Rastashka, right? Anytime we stress on somebody, we call Rastashka. Okay, guys? And I love this position because it's triple whammy. This is so hard to uh, escape. And what we're looking for, we're looking for inverted, not to be mistaken for reverse. Uh, but real quick, uh, normal triangle is done like this. So if I am to reverse my leg position, that's reverse triangle, okay? But now we do inverted. Again, many ways to get here, and what I'm looking for, the position I'm looking for, my this head is like my crutch, like a pillow, so to speak. One leg above the neck, one leg in the armpit, that's the making of any, any triangle. Okay, guys? And uh, triple way, I can actually finish triangle, multitude of submissions on this arm, and sometimes what I'll do, I'll dive, catch this leg here, and I start climbing a rope towards the heel. And you see Monica looks like a shrimp, all bent and stuff, hence the name, I think that time, shrimp hold. And I just pull this body. And sometimes, guys, if I flare, Monica, let's just look at this way. See, now it's a viewer stretch, but sometimes I will position myself in such a way, see my knees poking outside, my knee is not here, my knee is here. It becomes stretch in the knee bar because my shin becomes a full cone. Okay? So that's the Gatani. And the last one, Suloid stretch. So anytime I take my back, and uh, uh, one of these cases is to stand up. What was? Right? I'll try to build base. Boom, boom. And I love it. I do it, thank you. I do it all the time here. Obviously, I don't slam anybody. And obviously, in a uh, real jujitsu, you want to find like uh, 
uh, actual way to escape the position. But in my head, uh, if I know I can stand up with somebody, I can always drop them back. So uh, it's always a, it's always a good idea to exercise standing up, because for self defense is awesome. All right, and that's what we're exactly going to capitalize. Money to turn that way, please. Uh, in force. Thank you. As I'm taking her back, she cannot just hop up. Usually she pulls uh, one leg to start building. Yes, yes. As soon as she builds base, I'm going to grab that leg nice and deep and I'm going to roll her just like that. At this point, if you want, you can cross your ankles. There is no ankle lock here. There's no crest, right? There's no cross. If I was here, yeah, that, right? But with one leg now. And again, as soon as possible, I'll start climbing towards the heel. That's where the lever is the best. All right? And I pull back. You see, I'm not directly behind her. I'm slightly offside, ever so slightly. Not like this, like this. Finding that leg, climbing a rope, and finishing what they call Suloid stretch. There was a, a, a Russian fighter, a last name Suloid, rest in peace. Ahmad Suloid died in a very unfortunate circumstances. Uh, and uh, he put that move on the map, they call Suloid stretch. All right, guys, so thank you very much. Uh, you know what, guys? Uh, let me circle back back to uh, banana split. So normally, right, uh, often other people don't react. Once I secure this uh, leg right, I'll jump back, okay, because she's uh, uh, top light. But sometimes she starts building base and getting, yes, hurt me like this. Particularly in some wrestling, because if Monica stands up, yeah, the referee is going to blow the whistle. So now it's very hard for me to roll her that way. So what I will do, I'll just tuck my leg under and I will roll this way, and the rest will see the scale. All right, guys? Uh, normally, I see the version of people fall back, but I see plenty when people roll forward due to their uh, opponent's reaction. 